Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In this video, I'm going to show you basically a review, a demo, and everything about my Keurig Mini Plus. A quick disclaimer, there is a part where I show my 16 ounce cup and I say that this is the biggest cup that's going to fit in here. I did seem to forget that there is a little tray that you can take out and then put a bigger travel cup or a bigger mug or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. It does hold cups a little bit bigger than 16 ounces, but... Yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's get into it and I will see you in the kitchen. This is my Keurig Mini Plus in white and this was $99.99, so retails for about $100 and I did get this on the Keurig website. I think you can also get it on Best Buy, but anyway, we're going to just go through the features of this today. I'm going to show you how it works, do a little bit of a demo, let you know my thoughts, and yeah. What it looks like from the front, it's very sleek. It doesn't take up a lot of space on the countertop, as you can see, which is one of the things that I loved about it. And this is what it looks like from the side. This is my first ever coffee maker. So I wanted something very simple, and I think this does exactly that. It's just really, really easy to use. And um, I'll go ahead and show you the features. So right here we have this little piece that comes out and obviously this is where you'll put the cup and make the coffee. In here it holds a couple of K-Pods. Obviously I like my Dunkin' Donuts. I also got Tim Hortons in there. So this is great. This holds nine pods every day when I'm done making my coffee. I just slip this right back in and it's great storage. Down here you can go ahead and take this off so you can wash it if coffee ever ends up, you know, dirtying it and stuff. And you can also take this piece out and clean this tray as well. So. You know, I thought I was gonna have an issue having the white one, but really it is so easy to clean. Over here we have the water filter, or sorry, the water reservoir <laughs> filter. No, it does not filter your water. So it holds up to 12 ounces of water. I always do eight, but you can do anywhere between six and 12 ounces. And this easily is removed, so you can go ahead and wash this out as well when you need to. This is a single serve coffee machine, so of course you're gonna have to fill it up each time. Unless you're doing six ounces, then you know, you can get two uses out of it. <laughs> and then up here, this is basically the same as the regular mini, except the Plus does have an option for strong. I'm going to now show you a demo on how this works and how I make my coffee. So of course, the first thing you're gonna do is plug it in. This cord is not very long, so every single day, I do have to move this over here and plug it in. This is my cup of choice and this is 16 ounces so i want to show you what 16 ounces looks like in here so that is the biggest cup you're going to get in here let's get to it so the first thing i'm going to do is fill half of this with water i'm just going to lift this up and add eight ounces of water right about there perfect and then I just dumped the rest of the water out. Now I'm gonna fill this up again with some ice. I just do like a third to a half of ice and put that right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and close this and lift this up and insert our pod of choice. We're gonna go for Tim Hortons today. So I'm gonna pop this right in here and then we're going to kind of Close it. Then this turns on automatically when you do that, so you don't even have to press the power button. And then you'll choose between strong or just go, and we're just gonna go. And then we wait. I'll be back when this is done brewing. It takes about a minute, I would say. So, see you in a minute. So this is the noise. I don't know if you can tell, but for me it's not too loud. It happened pretty quickly and i'll just continue to wait okay so this is now done we'll go ahead and turn it off and then i unplug it here we go sometimes the ice doesn't fully melt so i'll just give it a stir with my straw so i would say this made about 10 to 12 ounces of coffee now with the ice and stuff and then i'm just gonna add some creamer then I'll just add some ice and I'll be ready to go. This is my review on the Keurig Mini Plus. I would definitely rate this like a good 10 out of 10. I love it, it's so simple, makes life so easy. You can also get the reusable K-Pods and use that. So it's just very versatile, so many different flavors and things that you can make and it's just very easy to clean. You just, you know, pop this out. Some other Keurigs don't have that. So I definitely love how easy it is to just like pull the pieces apart and clean everything and yeah, this has been a staple. I've definitely used this like six to seven days a week. <laughs> if you have any questions, just feel free to ask me in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.
Bye.